Yep, these are some typical winter riding conditions in the UK. We're certainly no strangers to mud and water getting splashed in our faces. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. When riding, we don't think twice about putting on a helmet or knee pads to protect us in sketchy conditions. But our visibility is definitely something we also need to think about. Uh. Today, I want to introduce you to my latest piece of kit. And at the end of the video, I want to show you a potentially revolutionary piece of equipment. So stay tuned. No matter what kind of riding you do, there's some sort of safety eyewear out there for you. Well, no, not that kind of safety eyewear. Getting some proper eye protection is ideal for keeping water and debris out of your eyes. In the winter months, depending on what I'm doing, I tend to ride with goggles or glasses. For the most part, I use my goggles when the weather gets really bad. Or when I've got my full face helmet on. This is usually for gnarlier terrain or for bike parks. When I'm trail riding or going for an explore, I like to wear glasses. I recently stepped up my eye protection game with a set of these. A pair of Capvo Elites, the photochromatic cycling glasses from GBS. One of the best features of these glasses is their high coverage, which gives you a wide field of vision and full visibility. So I headed up to my local trails to test them out in some muddy puddles. So these sections here should be a good puddle friendly one to test the glasses. Loads of spray. Whoa. Nice. So let's see how we did. So if you can see that, I am absolutely covered in mud. Um, the glasses, looking pretty good. A few spots on the lenses, but definitely glad I've got them. I can taste mud though. Mmm, lovely. It's days like these where the photochromatic lenses come into their own. When the sun shines, they help protect your eyes. When you're in low light, they turn clear again. Magic. This is really handy when you're riding between open areas and darker places like woodland. As well as the high coverage these glasses have, they've also got integrated vents to prevent your glasses from fogging up. So it's pretty cold out here and I'm breathing quite hard and they're not steaming up or anything on my face which is one of the worst things that can happen, really. Another important feature is that they fit really well and stay in place even over rough terrain. There we go. Whoa. You can get these in some really cool colors and designs. I went for these rather funky colors because I thought that they would stand out nicely. It goes without saying that these glasses are spot on. They'll be handy addition to my mountain bike eyewear collection. But all this talk of eyewear has got me thinking. I wonder if there's a better solution out there than glasses or goggles. Let me introduce you to the Bike & Beyond Makeshift Mountain Bike Visor. And before you ask, yes, this is definitely a mountain bike visor, not a COVID visor that was broken and couldn't be used, so instead I retrofitted it for use as a gnarly mountain bike visor. What kind of budget mountain bike channel do you think this is? This mountain bike visor could well be the biggest thing to hit the mountain bike community since the dropper post. So let's find out how well it works. I instantly can't see. Okay, so pretty early on, I realized that the visibility that the mountain bike visor provides may not be all that I expected it to be. And it actually made it pretty sketchy to ride it. But it did have one upside. Oh, my face isn't muddy. <laughs> Although this idea looks super cool when wearing it out on the trail, I think I'll be sticking with the glasses from here on out. I'm really psyched about the Capvo Elites and I can't wait to get out on the trail and use them again. Did you enjoy watching this video? Because if you did, that's awesome. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see more high quality content like this in the future. Until then, I'm out.